Fizz. Talk to you soon. Perfect. Uh, So chat room, so Meyer is not here. Um, I I can't watch it during the show, Mike B. Um, She hit, I think, 92 up there. So she said, and the pool is very crowded. So she's going to try and get back up to her apartment for Fizz. So she might show up. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So, yeah, hot here. Where are you, Dwindle? ATI 83. Yeah, I have my air conditioning on very low right now. Uh, it, it's really crappy here. 91. <laughs> well, she might be in chat. There's always the shower. Remember that little fan I had with the built-in mister? Yeah. I took it down the park. It was shooting steam in my face. That's how it's so hot. 83 in hot Atlanta. Yeah, muggy. Yeah, humidity is in all humidity. It's terrible. Hey, Mandy. Myra Joyce is not here now. What is her excuse? Um. Finally, chilly here. <laughs> Pack and W said it's chilly here now, 89, but going back over a hundred in a couple of days. Oh, okay. It feels like 97 on Long Island. Hey, Roberta. Thank you. No, f- just missed. It's so hot here. I stopped next to my girlfriend for some shade. Whoa. Martron, 79, but 85% humidity. Ah. I, I think the humidity is way up there today. And they've been promising us severe thunderstorms for three days now. I wish. Mandy says, I have a pool in my community... Oh, like a real pool? Like Myra has like, I think it's like a 100-foot pool or something. But she also has like 10,000 <laughs> tenants. Ah. Well, Vic. All set? Uh, yes. Wow. Uh, I, 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 uh, uh, let me push this button. Now the recordings are going, and I have confirmed that we're on the stream. People can see me. So, okay. So recordings are going. We're on the stream. All I have to do now is figure out what episode number it is and what the date is. Uh, well, the it's, date uh, I have, it's 8-6. Uh, uh, okay, August 6th. So, here we go. Let me see the, 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 the professional video slating voice. This <laughs> is the Giz Fizz episode 487, and it's recorded on Saturday, August 6th, 2022, and it begins... In three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt's Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular... Old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Oh, where are the harp ladies? Uh, I guess it's too hot for the harp. I can't believe it. Um, Okay, so we're going to start with the world famous. Everybody's in line already saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. Who is going to be? Chat room. Celebrity. Of the week. Not even the crickets <laughs> are coming out in this heat. Oh my gosh. Empty Pocket says it's so hot the sun is wearing earth block. Okay, so evidently there is a dirge of sound effects on this show. Here's my wait, wait, wait. Someone you, said. you didn't hear my sound effects? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. There is a harp. 
there, 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 there was a cricket. Maybe I just wow, didn't, they, didn't have them potted up hot, loud enough. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. But that's a different hop. They're really slacking off. Well, um, anyway. The, you know, it could, it could be worse. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that's something different. That is different. Um, okay. In that case, we are going to start with photos that you caption. Uh, the photos are from George Davis, and then he has some interesting facts that we find, always find interesting, actually. And we'll do logo and lots of other stuff. Okay, photo number one is, wow, we're high up looking down on a chat room. I'm not a sports fan. What are they playing? Oh, Jamma B. What, is, what kind of teams are they? Uh, it's an ultimate <laughs> frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee. Oh, ultimate Frisbee? Okay. Uh, except you don't throw it into a net, and I see those little nets down there, so that's probably... Goal! Soccer. Soccer, soccer, soccer. Um, okay, it's a soccer field, and we are way up in the bleaches, and you can caption this any way you want. Uh, soccer field of dream... <laughs> Dickie D's first live giz whiz. <laughs> uh, footy ball. Non-American football. Of all people battling it out in the chat room, Celebrity of the Week. Oh, that's that's very good. They said great seats. Not so. Ring of footy. Hope it's free binocular night. Uh, where did you throw my car keys down here? Browns, Lions game, goal. Where's the ball, George? Oh, this is funny. The running of the balls. This concert is terrible. If you build it, they will kick it. <laughs> uh, view from the nosebleed section. When does the concert start? If we kick it, they will come. I got my seats from Bob Uka. Uh, football goal. Before Bane blows up. Great seats, but no replay. World's largest foosball. Hey, my nose is bleeding. What kind of football is this crap? If I had binoculars, I could see who's winning. And we'll end with, I can't even see the big screen from way up here. Uh, okay, let's see. George said... For the photo looking down in a large stadium, my caption is, I have a lousy sense of direction. I've been looking for my seat for over 40 minutes with no luck. Uh, okay. And photo two. Uh, two chickens dancing. Photo two, two chickens dancing. And we'll wait for some captions. Hokey pokey chicky. Popeyes or KFC? Foghorn, leghorn, raised horn. Oh, that's funny. Balance contest. Red hand dance troupe. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two dancing chickens. The chicken dance. Chickens doing the chicken dance. Synchronized chicken dance. Look at that chick. Straight chicken strut. It's a jump to the left. Synchronized chickens. Chicken lords of the dance. Uh, what are they going so fast? Uh, the chicken dance instructor. Choreographed dinner. You put your li right leg in. You're a right leg out. The colonel's chicken army. Uh, where's Margaret. We're supposed to do the pole trio. Michael Jackson chickens trying for the cluckettes. Oh, that's very funny. Uh, dance fight for roosters. Chicken chorus line. And we'll end with Bill. If we look lame, maybe they'll take someone else. All right. Okay, George said, for two chickens dancing... Oh, George, you got an exact match. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. Okay, photo three. 
Photo three is a young girl thinking, but the thought box is for you to fill in. Young girl thinking with an empty thought balloon. My mind is a blank. Lines, lines, everywhere a line. I don't know what to think. Oh, that's funny. Nope, I got nothing also. Empty-headed kid. My mind is blank. Uh, I sure wish I had some dancing chickens. I would like chicken for dinner. Uh, do your thinking for me, okay. Empty thoughts. What I did this summer. I have no idea what's going on here. Tubla Rosa. Thinking about uh, a tabla rasa. A stupid question. What is it? Tabla rasa. Blank slate. Oh, oh, great. Wow. I wish I could be a chat room celebrity of the week. Don't know which way to go. In a world full of imagination. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Hmm, should I be chat room celebrity of the week? Keeping her thoughts private. Too hungry to think. Mom, I'm bored. I don't know if I'm coming or going. Not only is this thesaurus terrible, it's also terrible. Uh, okay, <laughs> crazy kid. Uh, my direction dance is blank. This is what my mind, this is what's in my mind because of public schools. She's thinking of snow. They call me empty headed. I had no idea what to do when I grow up. Your thoughts here and, and Cartoon Steve, a penny for your thoughts. Okay, George said, for the young girl thinking, my caption is, I bet in five years from now, they'll be able to read my mind and put something in the spaces. That's pretty scary. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm Photo a little four. disappointed nobody came up with what I had, was thinking. I don't know if anybody did, but something like, she's imagining the entire internet. Wow. Right? Because that's in a schematic, that's how you draw the internet. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, wow. We, we'll learn something every day. Whether we want to or not, we're forced to on the Gizwiz. Uh, okay, photo number four. Just an old shack <laughs> with an outhouse. Oh, my gosh. Old shack with an outhouse in the mountains. Pretty beat up. Mountains? No, what's that? The desert. The, the desert is flat, though, isn't it? Isn't that a uh, big hill? It's a hilly desert. <laughs> hilly desert. Okay. <laughs> I know many answers we're going to get. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, here they come. Uh, Love Shack Baby, waiting for the, those dancing chickens to perform. Three closets for my clothes. House in the middle. That's what I expected. Has sprouted again. Nice front yard. Pretty soon the bathroom will be in the house. Short in front, long in back. Welcome to Mullet Town. Quick, paint it white before the nukes fall. Modding plumbing is overrated. New getaway like the old getaway. The old shack in the middle. That's what I thought we'd get. Oh, B&B &B in the middle of nowhere. Why Oming? Ah, retirement. I got me Chrysler. It's as big as a whale, and it's about to set sail. The first Shake Shack, the dunes. Pull over. I got to pee. I have no bars on my phone. An Airbnb with outdoor plumbing. <laughs> Dick's retirement home. God, I hope not. Uh, outside Lake Havasu. Wait till you see what we did with the ski jump. Hillbillies after inflation. Airbnb doesn't look anything like this in the picture. Please do not take the rocks. They're holding up the wall. <laughs> yeah, but we got internet. Where is the James gang? I'm sure this will keep away the Christian scientists. Why doesn't the Wi-Fi work in the outhouse? My, pro my own private Idaho. And Roberto says, new shack to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Okay, George said, oh, for an old shack 
with an outhouse in the back. My caption is, no running, no running water here. Winds blow at 25 miles an hour each night. Not a good place to live. But the sky at night is spectacular. I bet. I bet. Jamma B's already put in a bid on that place. Uh, photo five. Uh, man just floating. Man in a bathing suit. Just floating. Arms outstretched. That's it. Man floating in a pool or an ocean. Whatever it is, it's dead calm. Uh, pretending to be at the Red Sea. Shallow or salty water. He needs a jock strap. Uh, young Dickie D. Any day they'll find my body. Had to catch an otter. <laughs> Damn it, the mass fell again. Stuck in the mud. Uh, forgot to take my sandals off. Vulture buffet. Uh, otter man. Uh, otter in a man's costume. Salt, salt Lake, it's a theme. Man in the middle. Doing the backstroke. Either this is the Dead Sea or it's very shallow. Man raft for rent. Uh, must be super salty water. Lake only inches deep in drought, waiting to drown, sleeping on water, playing possums. Oh my God, what's left of Lake Mead? Waiting for my pet shark to show up. Good place to be in this heat. Fishing for brine shrimp and we'll end with latest body found in Lake Mead. Yeah, I was thinking it must be salt water too. Uh, for the man floating, my caption is, it's so comfortable floating in this dead sea. I could do this for hours, but it smells a bit. Um, George, we did get a lot of Dead Sea. Uh, okay, photo six is... Uh, wow! Jamma B. It's that spectacular view from that uh, shack we were looking at a couple pictures what ago. What kind of clouds are those? Well, um, cirrus. Those are cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds, yeah. yeah. Wow. A sunset... Probably the same place that shack was. And incredible cirrus clouds. Spectacular shot. Are you serious, Jammer B? Oh. Uh, Chemtrail, chemtrails gone wild. Stratosirius. Donald Van Gogh. What did you do to my sky? You can't be serious. Not serious. It's the internet. Too hot. You cannot be serious. Get serious. Uh, a Bob Ross painting. Uh, whoa, whoa, fast again. I was going to say serious. It's going to storm. I feel it. Another you can't be serious. Uh, moon getting feather dusted before its turn. Heck of an advert for serious FM. I see a porcupine in those clouds. The clouds are jealous of the sun rays. Even the sky has a comb over. That's very funny. Over the hills and far away. Spiraling out of control hampers sun rays. Looks like a tornado is coming. Feathery sunset horizon. Starry, starry night in the daytime. Uh, are these mushrooms greater what? Sirius Maximus. And uh, another cumulus comb over. We'll end with Martron. Verizon's last landline. <laughs> there are two telephone poles in the picture. Okay. George said, for the odd-shaped cloud formation, my caption is, I can tell by looking at the sky, a lot of rain will hit us in about six hours from now. Boy, I wish that were true. I do too. Boy, we sure could use rain here. Yeah. Um, you know, the uh, chemtrail uh, comments reminded me of a very recent, I think maybe yesterday or the day before, XKCD comic. Would you like to see it? Sure. So, 
So I hear you're really into chemtrails. And the woman says, no. And the caption is, how to annoy entomologists who study ant navigation. <laughs> because, of course, okay. ants navigate by chemtrails. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, did you uh, know, uh, Mr. Bartolo, did you know that there's a secret hidden second joke in every XKCD comic? No. I did not know this till like a month ago. I accidentally discovered it. And then I found out Leo knew and everybody around here knew the alt text for the disabled. If you hover the mouse over the comic, you get the alt text. And this one, it's kind of tidy. I will read it from my screen. It says, ants have reverse chemtrails. Regular citizens spraying chemicals everywhere, everywhere they go to control the government. Oh, my goodness. Reverse chemtrails. So... Now you know. You can go back on all your favorite XKCDs, hover your mouse over there, get the alt text, and find the second hidden joke. Wow. It's kind of like the Mad Folden. Ah. Ah. But see, that one we knew about. I mean, there's instructions right there <laughs> on how to find the second hidden joke. I just accidentally, after, what, 10, 15 years of enjoying XKCD, discovered that there's a second joke like two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Oh, okay, now, ta-da, fun facts. Uh, um, George's talent does not end. Oh, George Davis, yes. Uh, his, uh, but his birthday is not, I think, till December. But he will be set to be chat room celebrity of the week to celebrate his 80th birthday. Okay, George Davis says, fun facts about Antarctica. Even though Antarctica has a lot of frozen fresh water, it's still considered a desert because of its low annual rain form, uh, rainfall. You know, we can do this as, as a question. How much rainfall falls annually in Antarctica done in feet or inches? How much rainfall? J- Jamma B might uh, might might know this kind of. Thing. I I don't. I mean, I know I know that there's very little rainfall in Antarctica. Okay, okay. But I, right, I, how I, much I, rainfall? Might, I would just guess. Guess, guess uh, uh, two feet. Twenty two feet. Twenty four in, well, inches in a year. Twenty one inch. Twenty four. Okay, seventeen less than ten inches. Salty uh, nine nine. James. Zero Martron, wow. More than two feet dilutes two inches, pack and W. <laughs> Chickenhead says, well, more than Las Vegas. Not this week. Becky, 4.2 inches. Very specific, Becky. Um, 10, 14, 10. Myra Joyce is in with 10. 8, okay. How many inches is 22 ounces? Yeah, I know. Well, sometimes twenty-two ounces room, over all of Antarctica. It's going to be uh, very less. Than it is considered a desert because of low annual rainfall that is less than 0.4 inches a year. Oh, whoa. whoa! Holy cow! Wow! How can you even measure 0.4? Wow! Um, let me get to that. Antarctica's lowest recorded temperature was what? George did this as a fill-in. Antarctica's lowest recorded temperature was blank. And we're doing it in degrees, but he didn't say... Oh, yeah, it was the lowest recorded temperature. You know, I always thought it would just stay <laughs> stay frozen. What what more do you need? Minus 85, minus 132. Well, you know, you could be just barely frozen, or you could be really, really, really frozen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, really, 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 really frozen? I'll do minus 200. No, 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 no. No? Too much? Yeah, I mean, that's like outer space. Oh, okay. All right, what's your answer, Jamie B? A minus uh, 80. 
minus 50. We were talking centigrade, right? Uh, you know, it doesn't say. It just says degrees. Well, that's a puzzle. Yeah, it is. All right, we're going to go... Well, you know, now that we're, we're going to reveal the answer, can someone double-check that this is Fahrenheit? The answer is the coldest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica was minus 128.6 degrees huh. back in July 1983. 89? So, uh, what's minus 89.6 in Fahrenheit? Do that and then we'll have it. 184 Kelvin. <laughs> Empty pocket says that was a balmy July. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay. So the answer was in Fahrenheit. Excellent, excellent. Um, how many time zones does Antarctica have? How many time zones? I know the answer to that. Does Antarctica have? Oh, I know the answer to that. Boy, talk about the brat in the front row who knows the answer. As Apparently, many as it, <laughs> some of the people in the chat room also know. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, Jamma B, who has his hand up and is leaping out of his seat. Oh, oh, Jamma oh, B, tell, oh. tell the class. Oh. Tell the class. <laughs> Tell the class how many time zones Antarctica has. All of them. All of them? Yep. Or yep. none, right? No, all of them. Oh, okay. Well, the answer on this is no time zones. Right. <laughs> There's, no <laughs> There's no time like the Antarctic and present. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, this is going to be impossible to answer. But that won't stop us. Aha! Antarctica is covered by huge ice sheets, and the thickest ice sheet is blank feet thick. Antarctica is covered by huge ice sheets. The thickest is how many feet thick? Wow. <laughs> That's a bunch of sheet. Five miles. We're doing it in feet. No, we're doing down, not length of width. We're just doing down. I would you be you seeing the most likely person in to the control room? To freeze in, in Antarctica? Yeah. I'll say 20,000. 20,000? Under the sea. Uh, Wait, no, no, those are leagues. I'm sorry. 20,000 feet of ice. Um, you know what? You're, you're not terribly, terribly wrong. The answer is 16,066 feet. A nice thick ice sheet. Nice thick ice sheet. Yeah, that's pretty. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. You know, the in in Washington, the yeah. Columbia Basalt Basin is up to like the five miles thick of lava that froze, you know, uh, sixteen million years ago in most of Washington. It's got some thick depth wow. of Columbia River basalt. Wow. Do you know that used to. I sound like I sound like one of those people that when I was a kid I said I'm never going to say these things, <laughs> but I guess I am. Is back when I first started having a houseboat at the marina, the Hudson River froze so solid that the uh, residents would ice skate on uh, in the marina. I mean I don't know how to ice skate, and it was a little before. Dennis had taken ice skating lessons, but well, actually, I, from time to time, I posted pictures of me standing behind my 
behind my boat, behind the outboard motor. Um, and, and I think I told you, you know, when you were young, you do really stupid things in retrospect. And that was ice flow skiing in a boat. Okay. And this is how that works. Um, outboard motors, you know, they have a, a kick up device. So if you hit a log, the motor will bounce up. Okay. There's a heavy duty spring holding the motor down and it's kind of locked there. So it doesn't spring up when you're underway. But if you hit something hard quickly, that lock lets go and the motor bounces up. So ice skate, uh, ice flow skiing was done in a Boston whaler with a, let's see, I had a 13 foot whaler with a 40 horse Johnson on the back. And the object was to get up to speed, pick out an ice flow. You had to pretty well estimate how far a whaler could go on ice. And then you would aim toward it, hit it, the motor would pop up, the Boston Whaler would go sliding across the ice flow, and you had to make sure you had judged it right that it would land back in the water so you could continue your trip, okay? If you misjudged it, and thank God I never did, you would be going wherever the ice flow was going because the Hudson River flows up to eight knots during its tidal change. Um, and they all often thought that poor motor anyway okay so George thank you so much and we're going to move on dun, dun. you know I think we'll go right to our snappy answer oh 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 what is oh he's just doing well you know that's pretty brave that's pretty brave wow now this guy's water skiing around ice it's the closest I could find. <laughs> you know, but the thing is... I was looking for what you were describing. I really wanted to see what you were describing, but uh, no videos of it I could find. Yeah. This is back... I wish... I wish so, cell now, had... so now, the how long has it been since the marina... And then when you say the river froze, you mean the whole river or just in the marina? Um, in mainly the marina, because the main part of the Hudson... The very center of the Hudson never really freezes because the tide change is eight knots. However, wow. Wow. during tremendous uh, f low temperatures, they will send a giant Coast Guard cutter up the center of the river to break up the ice. Keep it open. That's interesting. To keep it open for. Uh, and, and then <laughs> when they would do that, Ice flows would come down river, and before the the marina had a breakwater, oh my God, ice giant ice flows would come down, and just shatter docks. You would hear these docks shattering, and the dock in front of me shattered, and my boat was next to get hit with it, and this ice flow came down river, and I said to Dennis, you know, we just better get off the boat because. This thing hits. It's just going to cut the boat open. Let's get on the main dock. And this ice flow came up toward my boat and then went up in the air and stopped. It turned out that the tide was going out and there was a big uh, debris behind my boat, sunken debris, and the ice rode up the debris and was straight up in the air as opposed to going through my boat. It was very scary. Very, I, I have a photo of that somewhere. Wow. Um, anyway, yeah. Scary stuff. Um, okay, ta -da! we're going to do some logo. I know I said we'd start with something else. Oh, this is very good. It's like just in keeping with all that we're talking about. What laundry detergent shares its name with an event that takes place twice a day. What laundry detergent shares its name with an event 
Dun, dun. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, man, I thought it was the broken <laughs> clock soap. <laughs> Bro- I guess we the gave it away. Because... Right. The broken clock's right soap. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, what three entrees can you order when you order a Mac Happy Meal? I don't know how old this question is, and I don't have a, a McDonald's near me. What are the three entree choices you have when you order a McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> fries, fries, and fries. Hamburger, cheeseburger, McNuggets. Uh-uh. Nuggets, candy, and cookies. <laughs> Fish, beef, or chicken. Corn, beans, and turnips. I, too. Nah. Oh. Couple of you are right. Jammer B, you a McDonald's person? Ah, uh, no, I, I haven't eaten in a McDonald's in decades and decades and decades. Okay. But I, I, th- I think the hamburger, cheeseburger, uh, chicken nuggets seems like a reasonable answer. Yes, and that is correct. Let me just double check. Yes, hamburger, cheeseburger, McNuggets is correct. No Coke, Pepsi. Uh, uh, right. What type? What let's see. What type and which color of clothing is the symbol for the guardian angels? I don't know, is that a oh, national? Oh yeah, group? I know that. I know, uh, oh okay, I think okay. It's like um, New York mostly. Don't right? say it. Yeah, yeah, it might be New York based, but okay. Uh, I, can, I can almost think of the what, guy's name, right? Uh, Swiss. What type and what color of clothing is the symbol for the guardian angels? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, yeah. no. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. The there it is. There it is. There it is. And do you know what the symbol is, Jamma B? Clothing? Yeah, it's a beret. And the color? Well, I'm seeing red. I don't remember the color, but I see a lot it, of red. It, it seemed darker to it, me. It seemed like, like a black or a dark brown, but maybe it's red. No, it's red. A red beret. Very good chat room. So, so is it only local? Anybody have a, a red beret group outside of New York that they know of? Okay, no. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Questions about this? Mm-mm-mm. Questions about this. What does Hershey call its cuddly kisses made from milk chocolate and white cream? What does Hershey call its cuddly kisses made from milk chocolate and white cream? (laughs) It's not a poop emoji. Confused French kisses. Hugs, dove turds. Oh my God! French kiss. We know our candy, said Myra Joyce. Kisses and cream. Angel kiss. Bertha. <laughs> ah. Oh my God! Bird droppings. Uh, Jamma Bay, do you know what uh, the cuddly? I, I you know, the, the chat room almost had me convinced with uh, hugs. But um, uh, Kisses and Cream sounds, I think that's a great name. (laughs) Kisses and Creams. It happens to be Hugs. Whoa. Niggly Wiggly, what? Niggly Wiggly is a commonly used term Eh. for what part of Hershey's Kisses chocolate? I don't know how common that is. (laughs) Yeah. Chat room, do you know that? Niggly, wiggly. There's really not a lot of parts to a Hershey's Kiss. (laughs) No. That's right. That's true. Oh, that's good. It's called the label. (laughs) The tip. 
the tip. Oh, yeah, there is that thing, the pull string, BlackRock, the pull string. That could be named something. It is named something, according to this, and no one has it. The pull tab, the back end, the dangly part, the white pull paper, the paper label, the paper pulley thing. Oh, chat room, it's almost, when you hear the answer, you're going to say, oh, yeah. No one. Niggly, wiggly. Yeah, niggly, wiggly. Oh, flick, the naughty bit. Oh, this is silly. Oh, it's called the niggly wiggly. No, the paper plume. It's called a plume. Oh, what's the niggly wiggly? Uh, you know, okay. All right, that's it for that. Uh, uh, um. Um. Oh, okay. What magazine was founded in San Francisco? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm reading two questions together here. Which, the, which magazine was founded in San Francisco in 1967 and featured John Lennon on its first cover? I know that one. Okay. Magazine founded in San Francisco in 1967 and featured John Lennon on the cover. Wow. Rolling papers. <laughs> Uh, Cat Fancy? I don't think so. All right, Jamma B. Everybody wants to be on the cover of the Rolling Stone. All right, very good. What magazine, this is harder, what, what magazine shares its name with a novel and a 2004 film starring Reese Witherspoon? Which magazine shares its name with a novel and a 2004 film starring Weiss with a spoon? Um, legally, <laughs> I don't know a magazine called Legally Blonde. Um, uh, I will say that we have some correct answers. Bad Girls, Scouts, Cruel Intentions, Fangoria, Mean Girls. Jim, be any idea? Uh, no. Chat room, God, a bunch of you have it. There were magazines in 2004. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed Man, did it constantly, what's the magazine uh, it is indeed Vanity Fair Vanity Fair let's see where we are okay we're going to do our mm -mm, mm -mm. oh I know you have a couple of beer commercials I would love to drink something Good. wow we're not seeing anything. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I was just going to play that little bit. Uh, I could probably come up with a beer commercial. Let me. Okay, see. okay. Got, you know, we ladies are and down gentlemen, to, we are down to um, about six minutes of them, and we play about a minute at a time, so we can probably do this six more times. Oh, okay. Very good. DDR1. Very good. And then I have to get you more uh, more DVDs, right? No, 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 no. We, we're done with the car commercials. We're almost done with the beer commercials, but we have like four hours of the miscellaneous commercials. Oh, great. Okay. So okay. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we pause for this commercial. Here. Now. Life is like the Every 
day, my friend, give your blues the act. When you do, you say to enjoy life and jack. Whistle every day, my friend, take time to relax. With good fun, good food and friends, have some ice cold jack. Life is like a scale, you know, a daily do re me. Talk up your lips and blow, whistle merrily. When you whistle, it's a fact, life is tuned all around. Whistle every day and say, Jack, it's very down. Mabel, Black Label, Carling's Black Label Beer. In a swanky club or the corner pub At bars from border to border The beer they name is always the same Is how they order In a big chateau or a bungalow Wherever there's a table That favorite beer always rates a cheer And a whistle for Black Label Mabel, Black Label Carling's Black Label Beer Wherever you go, you're likely to hear that familiar whistle for Carling's Black Label. Today, this celebrated premium brew is America's fastest growing beer. There's a reason, of course. Black Label's premium quality is yours to enjoy at the popular price. Carling's Black Label Carling's Black Label Beer It's a premium brew at the popular price. Enjoy the best Take our advice. Get Carling's Black Label all right, that was great. I love the beer commercials used tons of animation. Also, I was wondering with all those rhymes for Jacks, I wonder if an ad agency, when coming up with a name for a product, would get out a rhyming dictionary and say, well, we can't call it that because when we write jingles, there's not enough rhymes. <laughs> Well, so if, you know, today we don't have that problem. Today the problem is, can I get the Ural? Can you get what? The Ural. Oh, yeah, that's right. That. Oh, yeah, you know, weren't there some people who made like a ton of money? Uh, Squatters. Yes, yes, exactly. Taking every conceivable URL. You know, the mm-hmm. first, uh, first employee Leo had of Twit, Dane Golden... Yeah, I remember Dane. He had hey.com. And he hey.com? Hey, H E Y. And that oh. was that was his retirement that 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 website. And uh oh. he you know he used it a little bit and he had you know don't even think about calling me to buy this website. There's no way you're going to have enough money to buy this website. And you wow. know about 2 years ago this new big email service came out at hey.com. And all of us were wondering, I wonder how big Mr. Golden's payday was when he actually got around to selling hay.com. Yeah. I hope he made a ton. I I bet. I I met the the founder of Ring at, at CES one year, and I said, how did you ever get ring.com and he said you cannot believe what it cost to get ring.com so it must have been someone early on who you know had gotten that uh, okay so oh oh wow it's like an all fried chicken theme too yeah okay we're doing guinness book of world records funky food division I'm going to tell you how tall this Kentucky Fried Chicken container was. They don't give the diameter. What we are going for is in the Guinness Book of World Records, what holds the record for the largest serving of fried chicken that filled a bucket 4 feet 11 inches high? And there's the bucket there, okay? And you can see... You can see it compared to the people filling it. Okay? That's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. Okay? Not a four-foot chicken. Uh, the KFC container was four feet, 11 inches, and we're playing for the weight. Okay? You mean we're not playing for the chicken? No, we're playing... Uh, we're, uh, playing in pounds and ounces, if you're using both. 
I'll read it to you. May 30th, 2009, a bucket of fried chicken weighing blank was served in Kuwait City in a bucket 4 feet 11 inches high. This is not a competition. No wagering allowed. (laughs) A thousand pounds. Two thousand pounds. Boy, a four and a half foot... Well, that's not terribly high, actually. I'll show you the picture again, if that helps. Um, You know, I'm going to go with a thousand pounds. I'm rounding it off to a thousand pounds. Camera B? 500, half that. Wow, 500. Mandy the Clown, 350. Becky. Wow, Becky's in 1,422 pounds. <laughs> Martron said it weighed 1,500 pounds, but it came with 120 pounds of coleslaw. <laughs> wow, 685, 800, 500. Thankfully, the biscuits Magoozin. are light and flaky. Yes. 766 Magoo. Jim Tez, only 250? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the largest serving of fried chicken in a bucket, four feet 11 inches, was, wow, 1,278 pounds and 11 ounces. And who said 1,244? Somebody said 1,244. Did someone say 1,244? Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, let me go back a minute. Uh, I see a thousand. Oh, uh, fourteen twenty-two. Wow! Who was that? Oh, maybe that was you after. Get... That was after. Okay. Anyway, amazing, amazing. Okay, chat room. We're going to do a snappy answer to stupid questions. Okay, Al Jaffe's one of four books. And you ask someone asks you a stupid question, and you come up with this with a snappy answer. Oh, by the I'm way, Dick, uh, what's a henway? What's a henway? Yeah, about a pound uh, and a half. What? About a pound about and a, a half. What? About a pound and a oh, half. Okay. Okay. Uh, um. Um. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? And she gives a very snappy answer, which is... uh, uh, uh. And whoever bought this book used did not come up with their own answer. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? And her snappy reply was... uh, You mean legally? (laughs) No, I leave him. Yeah, oh, that's very good. Redacted said, yeah, I'm taking him to the bank. Um, No, I'm taking him for a fool. No, I'm opening a new bank account. No, I'm taking him for all he's worth. No, he's my Uber driver. Why do you ask? Is that a stupid question? You mean lawfully? I came here. (laughs) No, I came here for the cake. Uh, No, I want to file a restraining order. No, I'm giving him to you. Did you know... No, it's just a standing she left. You mean like forever? Not unless he's rich. Yes, but just until he changes his will. No, I want to break up. No, he's just my insurance policy. I'm taking him for a ride. No, I don't even take him seriously. (laughs) No, he's my chauffeur. Why would I marry a guy this ugly? No, he's got a prenup. No, I thought this was a line for returns. I'm here for happy hour. No, I take his best man and we'll end with, no, he's not of legal age. Okay. All right. Let's see what Al Jaffe did. Uh, Did you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? No, I'm going all through this to see how I look in white. Uh, No, I just wanted someone who'll take out the garbage. Why? You got someone better? All right, those are Jaffe's three answers. Okay, let me ring Dennis. You want to get Alex on the blower? Okie dokie. Dun, dun, dun. And we're going to play match game. Ta-da. 
I can't call Dennis on my uh, 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 um, okay and go um, um, let it ring uh, one ringy dingy very good Doug and chicken head two second ringy dingy okay now he should be ready dun, dun. okay we're gonna start with oh let me get a uh, pencil and paper for Dennis ready uh, uh, did Alex join us he did okay great Alex how are you you got any good view to show us oh you're in your control room uh, it looks like he's still trying to hear us oh can you hear us I think that was a wad of gum you put in your ear. The headphone's still on your desk. You hearing us? Testing one, testing three. <laughs> uh, I guess he's not hearing us. It's one of those knobs. Uh, okay, get the wax out of your ear. Okay, Fussy Freddy was so fussy. How fussy was he? Fussy Freddy was so fussy, he made the way to bring him a new blank. Fussy Freddy was so fussy, he made the way to bring him a new blank. Oh, okay. I got a match already. Da -da -da -da. Oh, that's very good. He made the waiter bring him a new waiter. That's excellent. Uh, bring him a new menu, a new partner, a new table, a new napkin, a new wife, a new table, new doggy bag, table, a new cook, a new soul. Oh, my God. A new chair. <laughs> Um, all right, we're going to start with Dennis. Fussy Freddy was so fussy, he made the waiter bring him a new blank. Oh, I don't think you got any matches. A new attitude. Um, I got some matches. He made, so fussy, he made him the waiter bring him a new chair. Jamma B, you said so fussy he made him bring a new menu. You got some matches. Alex, did you finally find a way to hear us? <laughs> I think Alex is watching a different show. Uh, okay. He actually probably go. has to do a bit of work. Oh, 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 okay. Um uh what did i do i can't believe this what did i do with oh uh, i picked out a bunch of questions and now i don't know where i put them all right that's all right we will just delve into hopefully these are them mm -mm -mm. um Oh, I, you know what? Are they in the printer? I remember now. I, I, I can't. I, I wrote a bunch of questions about slogans, and I was going to play that. So let me just find. Well, you know, in the meantime. Da -da -bum -bum. This is George stuff. Oh yeah, no, that's not it. All right, chat room. Sorry about that. Oh, I'll just make one up. It was so hot in Central Park. How I, so hot was it? It was so hot in Central Park, I saw a robin with a blank. It was so hot in Central Park, I saw a robin with a blank. Oh, I'm so PO'd because I spent so much time. Let me see if I still have it here. You want?
Oh, I have them. Okay. And... Let me just print these out. Okay. It was so hot in Central Park, I saw a Robin with a blank. Jamma B, we'll start with you. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I must have... I must... I, I was confused, I think. I don't know. Oh, that's okay. So I, I saw a Robin with a blank. With Oh, I think you were confused with a sweater. Okay. It was so hot in Central Park. I saw a Robin with a... Oh, Dennis didn't get one. Um, my answer is I saw a Robin with a fried worm. Oh, I didn't get a fried... A redneck... Batmobile with an air conditioner. That that's another good answer. Utility, oh utility belt mounted fan. Oh, uh, Alex is actually working. Whoa! Wow! Ah, some people have jobs. <laughs> yeah, a fried beak. Okay, that's okay. I'm so lucky that uh, the the, the Laportes allow me to play along with you during my work hours. Oh, no, this is great. This is great. Okay, we're going to do match game, finish these slogans. Okay, a new division of match game. Finish this advertising slogan. You may have to be old to know this. De Beers used the slogan, a diamond is blank. Uh, the real answer. Uh, well, you know, it can be whatever you want, only because... I did this because the chat room is so crazy. The beers used the slogan, a diamond is blank. Oh, girl's best friend, extremely expensive. Cheaper than two, worth about half a pint. A waste of money. Wow, a lot of waste of money. A way to apologize. Cheaper than alimony. Oh, that's very funny. Really hard to swallow. A diamond is a hard rock. A diamond is as hard as a rock. A diamond is a girl's best friend. A diamond is made of dead people. Oh my God. A diamond is expensive. Um, a diamond makes a great turntable needle. Oh, that's very good. All right. No one matched me, I think. A diamond is a fortune. Oh. Jamma B, you said a diamond is... The actual logo. A diamond is cool and hard. Mm. Uh, Dennis has the real slogan. A diamond is forever. Uh, is Alex still working? I guess so. Uh, one of the my favorite mad back oh I should have told you ahead of time we could have brought it up on um, a, a mad back cover was paying for a diamond is forever <laughs> it was one of my it was and, and it looked just the, the beer's cover were, were like famous paintings and Forever or until you drop it down the drain, says Doug N. W. Okay. I, if anybody gets this, it'll be amazing. Although I've said that before, and people have got it. I have never. I used Old Spice for years. I never heard this slogan. Okay. Unfortunately. Old Spice. Unfortunately. Um, oh my God. Twit does not like Mad Coverville cover site wow yeah so does I, he not have a a thing i don't know but i've tried to get there to i mean i think it, it came up in my google search yeah yeah you know a type in uh paying for a diamond is forever mad magazine that might bring it up this is it yeah i found it oh okay oh okay oh that's that what that's what it brought I, up I, I yeah get this error or get this warning yeah okay that's that's all right it works here. Oh. Doug M says it works here if you type it that way. Oh, and let me let me see if it didn't have it. Yeah. Uh, Old Spice 
used the slogan, the original, if your grandfather hadn't worn it, blank. Finish that ad. Yes, if, Old Spice, the original. If your grandfather hadn't worn it, blank. Oh, dear God. Old Spice, the original. If your grandfather hadn't worn it. Oh, that's so funny. Your grandmother did. <laughs> <laughs> then he would be a chump. Your grandmother would still be a virgin. You'd never been born. He would have gone bankrupt. Your, another, your grandmother probably did. You wouldn't have been born. You wouldn't be here. You never would have smelled it. You'd be nothing. You would be a sailor. You wouldn't be here. You, he would have married a classy lady. Your grandmother would still be in the pantry. That is so funny. Did you know? One second. Oh, Dennis is still writing it some. Okay. Old Spice, the original. If your grandfather hadn't worn it blank, he would have smelled bad. He'd still be single. He would have smelled nice. All right, let's see what Dennis put. Dennis put, he would have worn Chanel. Is that it? Yeah. He would have worn Chanel. Jamma B, have any vague idea? Uh, no, I, I, I forgot we were playing uh, match game. Many people in the chat room have it. I can't believe it. The, the original slogan is Old Spice, the original. If your grandfather hadn't worn it, you wouldn't exist. Really? That was the slogan? Yes. I crazy. never heard it. There are uh, at least 10 people. Unbelievable. Oh, maybe chat room. This is more your speed, maybe. Finish Taco Bell's slogan, think blank. This is, this is going to be good. Finish Taco Bell's slogan, think blank. Think outside the bell. Think outside the bathroom. <laughs> Think outside the bun. Think out, Charlie. Nick, Charlie. One more question, and then you. Think indigestion. Think stomach pump. Think about eating this. Think of the chicken. Think outside the box. They may have given Alex a break from work. It looks like he's actually ready to play. Oh, okay, good. All right, Alex, uh, we'll start with you, Alex, if you're ready. Finish the Gator Aid slogan. Think blank. G Charlie, Gatorade? Right? one more. Gatorade. Gatorade? Uh, I'm sorry. Taco Bell, think blank. Taco Bell slogan, think dog food. <laughs> uh, Dennis, think price. I don't think any matches. <laughs> Jamma B, think. Kiso? Kiso. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, a lot of people think outside the box, but several people have it. It is think outside the bun. Oh, I get okay. it. Because it's got tortillas instead of bread. Ah. Think outside the bun. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to, all right, this is going to be easy. American Express, don't live life blank. American Express, don't live life blank. Charlie, after this question, in a minute, Charlie, stop. It's almost your time. American Express, don't live life
Charlie, in a minute. Okay. Uh, don't live life without debt. Don't live life with credit debt. Don't live life on YouTube. Carl Molden says, without it. Without it. Don't be a total bastard. <laughs> don't live life. We're rich. We own you. Don't live near Carl Malden. Um, uh, okay, Jamma B, any idea? American Express, don't live life blank in the black. Mm. Okay, that's funny. Alex, American Express, don't live life cheap. Mm. Um, don't live life without something like it. Mm. No, I got no matches, Dennis. Don't <laughs> American Express don't live life at all. <laughs> um, okay, a lot of the people in the chat room have it, and it was Carl Mold and American Express. Don't live life without it. Don't live life without it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> after an hour of pleading and begging, it's time to meet. The Giz Fizz mascot dog, Charlie the dog. Hang on, Charlie. Hang on. Wait a minute, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, come here. Come here. Hang on. Just a minute. Just come here. Just come here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, Charlie. I, I am holding your tail now. Oh, there it goes. Wait it out. It's Charlie. So wags a lot. Living up to his name. It's so wags a lot. He's so, he's thrilled. Look at them, look at them out there. Charlie, look, oh, I'm going higher. I'm going with something I can. Oh, boy, Charlie. <laughs> Is this the most fun I've ever had? Is this the most fun I've ever had? <laughs> oh, Charlie, look at that. Go, oh, look at me go. Charlie is going. Hang on, Charlie. <laughs> if there's a power failure and we could harness <laughs> web 7, 7520 said Charlie's ready for liftoff he is so he is so funny he is a he is a happy Charlie is a, is a happy dog I'll tell you all right ladies and gentlemen this has been regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Oh, I missed, I missed the uh, hop. Uh, old fashioned regular, old fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Ify Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Dolly the Dog, Jammer B, Pete Master, Alex Gumpel, Becky Gensman, Black Rock, Myra, Faulty Corn Dog, Gumby, Fox Post. Caesar, Sly One, Magoo, Loke, Giz One, Tupelo, TI83, Gumby, ZX, uh, Chicago Tim, Stooge, Craig, Adam24, Redacted, Eric Duckman, Okaroo, Pack and W, Raven, Dwindle, and Mandy the Clown Production, brought to you by Turtle Wax. Remember, it's not just for turtles anymore. Thanks, chat room. Gizwiz Thursday. And then next Saturday, we'll be back with Leo and Radio. And then another Giz Fizz. Giz Fizz. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, George Davis. Thank you, Alex. Good seeing you. Alex, you had to work? Mm -hmm. What is that? What kind of stuff is that? Oh, I was just uh, up in the control room rebooting things. Oh, oh okay. 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 Turn, yeah, we get we make the big bucks because we know how to turn things off and turn them back on. It's again. just like I used to do with the TriCaster. <laughs> the thing needs rebooting every every night, and we I reboot the control room uh, every Saturday. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. Excellent. I was just a little late to it today, so it was uh, during Gizfiz. What do we got, Alex? Oh, okay. Five weeks, six weeks. What do we got? Um, the, yeah, the, we need to tenth. coordinate on on this. It's the it's tenth. on my calendar. I I've, I have the days off. I've already taken care of that. Yeah, I just gotta we gotta figure out logistics. Saturday. So um, send, let's let's talk soon. Yeah, we will talk soon. Which reminds okay. me, Mr. D. Bartolo, uh, you yes. will not see me most of September. Mr. <laughs> Burke, 
Mr. Burke will be here most of September as I travel the world to hear some Pink Floyd music. Wow. What is this? Visit, How long are you going for? Going to visit uh, Mr. Gumpel. Actually, he's not going to. I'm going to visit Mr. Gumpel. Well, we're going to, to we're Tacoma. going to meet. We're going to meet at these shows. Uh, this is let's see September. Well, first of all, Umphreys McGee. Um, the September first, San Diego. September second, Los Angeles. September third, Oakland. September fourth, Reno. And then my musical god, Mr. Waters. Uh, Portland on September 10th, Tacoma on September 17th, Sacramento on September 20th, San Francisco on September 23rd, San Francisco on September 23rd, Sep uh, Los Angeles on September 27th, Sep and Los Angeles on September 28th, and Las Vegas on October 1st. And this is what? Roger Waters' final farewell tour. Oh. He is, he is your age. Wow. Are you going to be part of the crew with all no, those no, dates? No, no, no. I was going to say, man, the clown said, did you join the band? No. I bought these tickets in November of 2019. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's the way Boy, you're going to be disappointed if he doesn't retire. I'm going to be disappointed if I get the disease during Humphreys McGee and then oh. have to miss a Roger show. That will be oh very my disappointing. God. That would be terrible. So let's none of us get those diseases. <laughs> Jim says, Twit's going to fall apart. Help. It's okay. I can remote in from the road. Oh, okay. Good. I, good. I, 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 can, I can turn things off and turn them back on from, you know, from the Oh, okay. The very good. Very good. All right. I'm looking forward okay, to it. Okay, very good. Chat room. See you Thursday for Giz Wiz. And then Saturday here. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. And bye, Alex.